Hey friends, I'm back, and we are playing Solasta Crown of the Magister. This is episode one. Um, if you're arriving from this, feel free to check out the character creation video, which is episode zero, uh, right before this. Um, if you're watching this as it premieres, um, this should have premiered right after that. So, um, anyways, so let's get into it. We've got Elaine, first level paladin, Dirk, first level cleric, Tuck, first level rogue, and Terry, first level wizard. So let's go ahead. Oh yes, we're doing Crown of the Magister, which is the only campaign currently available um, from this for this game. So yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, um, if you're not familiar with this game, uh, this game is created by this game was uh, in beta is made by a, a studio called Tactical Adventures. Um, and this is a mostly blind playthrough. I've seen some gameplay and a little bit of that, but I don't know anything about the story. Um, I've been doing my best to avoid story spoilers. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the game. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love new RPGs. <clears throat> Casting spells consumes slots. Most classes regain spell slots after a long rest. Yes, that's true. Um... I've played a lot of 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons, so I'm actually pretty familiar with this, so I'm hoping that it won't be too, too bad. Uh, click or press any key to start. Before the Cataclysm, there were no gods on Celasta. No humans, either. Then, the rift opened. Some say was a magical accident, or the work of an evil god. No one knows for sure. The Cataclysm destroyed the old High Elf Empire. Manakalan, they called it, and twisted the land beyond recognition. Now, only the brave and the foolish go there. In search of ancient treasures. But something is happening deep in those badlands. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. 1024 AC, it is a time of political tension between the Principality of Mazgarth and its neighbors. The Legacy Council stands as a neutral organization with representatives from all the Eastern Kingdoms. It has issued a call for hired adventurers to bolster its efforts, explore the perilous badlands. A valiant group gathers at the Grave Keep's Cask Inn, ready to take up the challenge. Okie dokie. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. Oh, click this. I guess I got to just press the key. My keyboard's right there. <gasps> Oh, there's my characters, or three of them, anyways. Terry, Tuck, and this Elaine. This beer tastes like donkey piss. Ooh. Not that I'm complaining. You can see my face right now. Oh my I'm God. not too late. Oh. Ran into a bit of trouble on the way here. You magnificent Sit. bastard. Relax. Perhaps you'd enjoy a pint of this obnoxious ale. You're not too late, friend. We're all here for the same reason. Grab a chair. Another oh. round, barkeeper. Four of your finest flagons of donkey piss, please. <laughs> Looks like you've been waiting here a while. Indeed. You mentioned something about some trouble. Would you care to elaborate? Well, I was making my way here when three bandits leapt out of the bushes with crossbows. They dragged me off to some decrepit prison and tossed me in a filthy cell that smelled of rat piss. Don't know what was holding the place up. I love this. Oh. Oh, and we're going to tell their stories. Oh, what? Oh, I get to play through their stories. Oh, I love it. And I'm I'm Dirk. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so what do I have? What do I have? Um, <clears throat> cast spell. Bless. I'm guessing the grade ones are combat only. Oh, must wield or wear a spell coat. Oh, no, they require components or a spell. Oh, my gosh. I can cast Guiding Bolt, though. That's so cool. That's so cool. Hold Alt for more info. Bonus action. Player slot one. Oh, my God. I have two first level slots. 
splots, yeah, okay. Okay, um, oh my god, and I'm guessing, uh, let's see, inventory. Let's go and look through his inventory. He's got absolutely nothing. So this is where stuff would be on the ground, carried items, ammo, helm, cool, 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 two rings, I love it. Um, 1d3 plus three damage, so a maximum of strength damage, strength uh, with a plus five to hit. A maximum of six is what I was trying to say. Okay, um, so like I said, this is a semi-blind playthrough. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh my god. Oh! Not proficient, not proficient, not in inventory, not in inventory. Mancolon Rosary. What's that? This pendant is used to en <clears throat> excuse me. This pendant is used to enchant items using primed materials created by the ancient Man Manacolon masters of magic. It is almost impossible to reproduce their rituals, but they may be completed by one who has require has the required skill and ingredients. Compatible proficiencies man Manacolon Rosary and Arcana. Deep and cleric spells so so this is what i have prepared oh i see so these are all the first level spells and these are what i have prepared neato if you're not familiar with clerics in fifth edition they have all spells available to them through their god and they can only prepare um their level plus their wisdom modifier plus whatever domain spells they have so um i'm assuming i can prepare something like six spells Character selection, basic movement. Select your character by in the 3D view or on the character's portrait. Okay. Next. Pretty standard stuff. Um, I'm not going to read through all of this out loud. If you want to pause it and read through it, feel free. But otherwise, I'm going to try to get underway. I like to learn as I go. I, I honestly, I usually don't bother with uh, tutorials all, much, all that much. I didn't even read that one, if I'm being honest. Oh, okay. I could turn the camera with the right mouse, though. And I can select like that. Okay, cool. So basically like every every other one. Uh, can I highlight things with tab or do I have to mouse over things? I better do here. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom out. It is hard to see. It's the middle of the day right here, and um, I don't actually have real curtains, um, so I've got blinds, so I'm getting a little bit of glare. Let's see if I can turn this and get some of that glare off. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay. So, oh, oh, okay. Tab does not do what I want it to do. Let's see. So, mm, nothing I can mouse over. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh. oh, okay. Does tab... Oh, I can't scroll. Hang on a second. GUI, move, contextualize, can confirm, can confine cursor to window. If enabled, cursor cannot leave game window unless another screen is collected. Okay, I uh, selected, collected. Yes. Only show NPC uh, time display mode AM PM. Okay. Dice. Show initiative dice. Oh yeah, show all these dice. Dice style. Oh my gosh. <gasps> cool. Oh I love it. Okay. Keyboard. Um okay. Game. Reaction timer. Stop movement. Of, yes, do that. <laughs> okay. Sorry, folks. Okay, let's get back into the action. Let's go. Fig let's just go figure out what we're doing here. I got guiding bolt. So, click the journal button to open the quest log. This will give you information. Uh, quests. The log quest. Your current objective. Jeez, I wonder. Um, let's see. Journal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, so. The adventure begins a group of adventurers. Oh, cool. Oh, that's neat. Oh, cool. Hang on. Relationship is antiquarians. Status is now sympathy. Interesting. Okay. Cool, cool. So this is the quest log. Escape the bandit's prison. Find the way out. There must be a way out of this un... Okay. A bestiary. Oh, that's cool that they have a bestiary. I love that stuff. Um, oh, nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I love it. So I have a little sympathy with the antiquarians. A little sympathy with the Principality of Masgarth, indifferent with the Scandrigen, so 
tracks your reputations. Very neat in that tutorial. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. I promise we will actually get into the action now. Can I turn up the brightness a little bit? Because I can't see very well. Graphics. Graphics. Custom quality. B sync. Resolution. Full screen window. I guess not. I guess there's no. Oh, here we go. A little brightness. That's better. Hopefully it isn't too dark for you. If it's too dark for you. Hmm. That's a good question, actually. Tutorial crawling. Okay. Crawl through a hole. Mm -hmm. Click on the other side. You'll get a better view of the other side. Okay, cool. I understood. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. How do I move? Oh, oh, with the, okay. Wait, can I do that with the WASD? Oh, cool, awesome. There, <laughs> that was gonna be silly. Ah, yes, something. What do we have? A torch. Well, okay, is there anything else I could do? Close, um, alt. Right, dim, stackable size for one hour. Okay, um, I don't think I need that. Um, actually, you know what? I will, I will do that. Um, inventory so put that in secondary and then close oh yeah you can actually kind of see him now I'll keep the torch on even though uh, dwarfs dwarves have bright vision uh, dark vision bright vision okay kind of looks like I'm just sort of where this is the tutorial I'm just sort of supposed to get out of here this is gonna be weird to control the camera this way but that's okay Interactive elements, uh, cursor indicates, uh, lock picking, dice roll difficulty, understood. So. Ah, I see. So this is probably going to be a strength check then, which is a good thing he's got a big old, big old strength check. Um, where do we have, so we go in inventory, inventory, character, where are uh, proficiencies? Ah, here we go. He has no athletics. Dang, I should have taken, wait, doesn't that mean? No, this is proficiency in, ath in okay. Plus two, plus six to insight. Oh yes, absolutely, cool. Well, that's good, he's insightful. So if you get into any dialogue or anything like that. Bang, just like that, probably a pretty low thing. You can actually kind of hear somebody. Okay, now do I climb up? Okay, I can't see. Where are we here? Guessing we go this way. So how do we get up there? Oh, what? Really? Jumping or climbing. To jump or climb, simply click on the destination. Depending on the character's strength and proficiency, athletics, you can jump between two and five cells. Uh, you can always jump over two cells, drop down three cells, climb up one cell. Okay, cool. So this is not a tile-based game. It is actually a cell-based game because of their... Um, the differences in height, the, uh, the verticality of environments. Um, so yes and they did it in that way so that we didn't have to worry about doing math so like one cell is one cell um which is cool so okay so can a character with strength athletics cool cool and general critical path is always open to characters with superior physical abilities however optional loot is sometimes harder to reach don't give up though you may find another way to get this chest oh 
Uh, nope, I've got that chest. It's probably going to be locked. Oh, it is not locked. And there is a potion of healing. Yeah. Absolutely. So do we have utility? Oh, I can store. Okay. So I just drag this down there. Awesome. And now I have a potion available to me. Use item. Hell yeah. No path destination. That's awfully funny. Click to push this object. Okay, it is not happening. So I think... Oh, I was actually pretty scared about that. Okay, so I guess I just had... I was clicking too far down or something. Okay. Oh! Ha! Sorry about that. I thought I had shut off notifications. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Okay. My bad. There. So it doesn't just vibrate on my, my thang here. Oops. Oh, okay. Get rid of the bandits. I I did it. I he, congratulation, you done it. The tutorial. Click on a chest. Uh, yeah. Okay. Carry weight. Yep. Yeah, understood. Sure. Don't care. I need stuff. Come on, give me stuff. Oh, yes. Um, oh, so I basically, I've got my equipment back already. Okay, cool. Ration pouch. S crafting scroll of cure white, cure white wounds. Cure white wounds. It's going to take a very long time to cure the white wounds in this country. Uh, I'm not going to apologize for that joke either. I don't care. Oh, is that, is that better? Healing Remedy, 1d8. What is this? 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Okay, so he immediately, so I can't... Oh, I can. I can just take these arrows, I guess. Which is great. Close. So, okay, so he's got all of his stuff now. Open the door. Hang on, sorry. I'm still getting used to this, so it's going to be a little weird. Um, 3D environments are very cool. Quest completed. Well, that was it. Nice move, that trick with the wall. Glad you know where's from there. <clears throat> My flagon is empty of ale, and Lord Karen still isn't here. Karen? I don't oh, mind waiting God. as long as they pay us for our bloody time. I love that they're talking. I love it. I have it. a tale to tell as well. I too was attacked. But I put an end to my enemies with blood and pain. I put an end to my Let's enemies it, with then. blood and mud. Okay, so we're going to go through all their stories. So this is going to be this episode. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, okay, so this is a combat tutorial. Oh, I like this. So I get to go first. Heck yeah. Okay, so moving to the point to download to dash. Okay, activates dash. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Understood. So basically, that'll take my whole action. So, starving wolf. Excuse me. Okay, so you should be able to just attack. Damn. 21 to hit. Yes, and I hit. What was the... Um, opens game menu. Oh, I see. Here, let's open this. There we go. Can I move these hot elements? I'm going to take a look at that and see if I can do that. Because I kind of want this... I kind of want this down and this up, like above. I don't know. Somewhere. We'll figure it out. Maybe I won't break the mold. Maybe I'll just leave it. I can't. I can't attack again. So I have five movement. So can I... Mm, no, I can't back up. Okay. So I'm going to end turn. So I have nothing to do with the bonus action. Oh, dang. No. Okay, good. They did not get a flank on me. That's good. Oh. Okay, I missed. Cool. 
Oh, I like the camera though. That's cool. If you're attacking to attack an enemy using your default weapon, mouse over and left click, you can also cast a spell. Blah 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 blah. I'm a first level paladin, so I basically have nothing yet. I don't even know if I have lay on hands, or do I? Um, use power. I do have lay on hands. I can't remember when they get that. Neutralize poison and cure disease. Oh, and divine sense. Okay, so I do have some stuff, but this isn't going to help me with the wolves unless I need to be healed. So it's a good thing I chose to paladin. Chose. Yep. So I can heal. Nice. I can heal, I believe, five. Boy. it's a, I, See, this is why I chose a paladin. Her AC is 18, so it's very hard for them to hit. They probably have like a plus three. Ah, uh, see, first level, they probably have a plus four to hit. I don't think they'd have a plus five. So that means that they have basically about like a... Oh, I can't remember. I, I can't remember the math off the top of my head. So it would be 14, so like what, like a 25% chance to hit or something like that? Some crazy, some like 25, 30, I can't, I don't know. Math, I, I know I run D&D, &D, but math is not my strong suit. So get rid of this wolf, dead. And she's got a plus five to hit, so, and they probably had like an AC of 13 at the most as a, like a challenge rating one quarter uh, creature. God, I'm so sorry, you're gonna hear the nerdy shit. Um, okay, cross the bridge, disengage, and push the rock. Uh, right. Okay, so they'll path right to it. And then we push the rock. Oh, cool. Oh, no! Tutorial. Disengaging. To avoid an opportunity attack, use the disengage action. Okay. So, I have... I'm surprised. Usually paladins just roll absolutely poopy. I'm surprised I could climb up. But, you know. I could still interact too. That's weird. Oh, that's what they were trying to get me to do, was to run across the bridge. <laughs> Whoops. Cross the bridge. What a Quest bunch completed. Of You're lucky you weren't attacked by Sorax. Shut your gobber or shut it for you. Oh, that's a glitch. The badlands are thick with them. Shape shifting bastards. Everyone's a critic. Aren't all drunks basically stupid? Ooh! Sorax might be legend, but orcs are quite real, and not just in the badlands. Oh, it's her I turn? stumbled across a secret settlement right here in the principality. What? I Whoa. traveled here from the east and left the main highway. Hoping to save time by traversing the hills. The views were magnificent. <clears throat> so this but is all I in engine. My must be. The path because it gave way beneath my feet, plunging me into Stygian darkness. Ooh, into Stygian darkness. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't make fun, but that was kind of funny. Tutorial lighting, lighting sources. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cantrip firebolt. Lighting items. You can light flammable items like torches on holders and interacting with them while holding a torch or casting a flaming spell lay on them like firebolt. Okay. So am I supposed to be lighting things then? Character actions. Not what I wanted. Oh, whoops. Light your way. Oh. That's a staff. Okay. Um, hang on a sec. I'm having a I'm having a terrible I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Um, oh, cast a spell! God damn it, Zach! You see, I didn't take the light cantrip because I didn't think I'd need it. Well, that proves me wrong there for sure. And I don't have firebolt. Gosh darn it! Okay, so we got. Can we? Okay, abort. Blessed are the light bringers. I like that this is like the tutorial is this. I I really hope that we, you know, become level two after this too. <laughs> oh, examine the totem. Hang on. Skill checks. That's what this tutorial's about. Orcs here? Strange. I wonder what this totem means. 
I got a 24. I don't know what the freaking totem means. Seriously? Uh, perhaps if I had had, um, like, orcish proficiency in, like, the orcish language or something like that, maybe I would have been able to do that. That's cool. Okay. I'm going to go over on this side now. Oh, loot. Oh, tutorial. Healing. I have three hit points. Oh, poopy. Uh, if your character can cast healing spells... Okay, so understood. Okay, so let's just get this first real quick. Maybe there's a healing potion in there. Oh! Look at all the stuff I have. There is a healing potion in there. What's this? Component pouch. Okay. Can I? I can. Okay. I want to take all the rest of this crap if I can. I'd like to... A ration pouch... Okay, Angry Violet. This is a crafting item or something? It must be. Yeah, Properties Ingredient. There we go. This is so cool. This I'm honestly loving the hell out of this game. Uh, right, we gotta do this, so... Uh, let's see if I can mouse over anything else. There's a ladder right here. Oh, oh. There they are. Discretion is clearly the better part of Valor in this instance. Well, I... Um, aha, I see. I wonder if the game wants me to use that cautious mode. Enemy starts to notice you press the gauge appears above their head, giving you time to react or return to hiding. Remain three cells above the enemy in this mode and you can't be detected. Okay. Uh, so am I, am I being cautious? Am I being cautious? Yes, quite. I'm not a particularly uh, stealthy individual, though I have been known. To steal things from the pantry at home without the cooks noticing. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's go. Cautious. Shh, shh, shh. I'm hunting wabbits. We're moving cautiously. I wish there was a fast mode like there, there is in Pillars of Eternity. But that's alright. Okay, I think I can exit cautious mode now. <laughs> Famous last words. So, there. Leave the cave. Ooh. Oh, oh, she didn't, she didn't make it, so she fell flat on her face. That's so funny. Both. <laughs> I love it. Whoopsie. Okay. I like this. It's pretty much a guided experience, but I mean, it's a tutorial, so that's going to happen. Some of the footage I have seen is of... Um, you know, big sprawling dungeons and stuff like that, which I enjoy. If this is more of a dungeon crawler, I'm okay with that. Though I gotta say, I really enjoy the fact she 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 cannot jump. I'm pretty sure. What didn't I make? Um, didn't I make? Oh, what was that? Oh, it's just okay. I see. Uh, didn't I make that her dump stat or something? Um, does she have a wand? She's got a. Off. I told you to take the wizard staff. Um, yeah, her charisma, uh, her strength is nine. Her charisma is plus one, actually, which is cool. Cool. What are proficiencies? Um, persuasion plus. Okay, so she has no, no charisma based stuff. I can't remember who has what. I think I've actually got intimidation and persuasion with uh, the paladin. A campfire. Oh, it's gonna go into a no thing. Other means of egress is apparent. Fine. I shall wait until they go. These creatures do hunt, right? Tutorial: Take a long rest. Okay. To recover hit points, special abilities, and spells, you must take a long rest. To do so, you need to gather your party around a safe place and have one ration 
of food per party member. Okay. Oh, cool. So camping is a limited resource, which is cool because I've heard that in Baldur's Gate, it's actually not quite a limited resource, which I think it should be um, to avoid spam resting. Um, so take a long rest. Tutorial preparing spells. So... Um. Okay, so. Okay. So, when the rest is complete, recover all hit points and half your hit dice maximum. So, awesome. Which she didn't need any of that, but that's okay. Can I re-prepare spells? Um, identify. Identify is a ritual, though. So I don't think I need to. Magic Missile, Thunder Wave, Sleep, Shield, Detect Magic. These are pretty all pretty standard. Okay. That's fine. I don't need to do that. Close. Did they? They leave? They did. Excuse me. Which is unfortunate. I was hoping to be able to, you know, take a couple of them down. Maybe there'll be like an orc guard or something like that. I can do that too. Oh, right. I gotta use this. That is strange. I honestly don't care. know if I care for that. There we go. Okay. I would have slaughtered every one of those green skin monsters. Orcs have a very distinctive stink. Mm -hmm. I'm beginning to think Lord Taran might be a mythical creature. We've all told a tale of our travels here. All but one of us. Yes, but I have good reason for that. It's none of your bloody business. Oh. You can't have a true friendship without trust. What are you hiding? Fine. You want to know the truth? I stopped on the way here to visit an old friend of mine and discovered he was up to his eyeballs in debt with a loan shark. Oh. That's not good. Indeed. He put up a family heirloom as collateral and wanted me to reacquire it. Because you see, I can be quite stealthy when necessary. I can be quite stealthy when necessary. As you see, I can be quite stealthy when I need to be. I gotta work on that accent. Okay, tutorial stealth. Move stealth, use cautious mode to move stealthily. Well, I thought that we already Kind of went over that, but okay. Your noise circle depends on your armor type and your stealth skill. It's also a good idea to avoid moving in an enemy's field of view while carrying a light source. Yes, absolutely. Remain in cautious mode for the whole duration of this mission. You must make a stealth check. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Tracks spotted. Oh, hey. Literally started out in, in cautious mode and then, oh. So, guard movements. Oh, shoot. I gotta do this. Hang on. So, that's cool. What's this? Oh, hello, loot. Hello, loot. Tutorial using the camera. Right click to drag. Okay, okay. I've kind of already been doing that. QE? Wait, what's QE? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, thieves tools. I already have thieves tools, but you can't. It can't hurt to have another pair. Oh, Liam. Always thoughtful. Always thoughtful. Okay. Okay. So, oh, I can move the camera around that way. Oh, I don't even need the... Well, I guess I do need that. <laughs> ah. Moved it right out of the way. Understood. No unnecessary mini games, and I appreciate that. There's 
this later and you can pickpocket enemies. Oh, thank God. Okay, now, um, Hang on a minute. Is there a... I, I, you know what? I will actually save. Um, enter a file name or select save. Um, no, I was going to put YouTube, but... Uh, stealthy Mission. Oh, enter did not work. Or it did work. I see, I see. Okay. So does that mean that this key goes to... Here? No. Here. Or here. Or here. Here. Oh boy. Here. Oh, thank God. Uh, why is this make this is making me so nervous? Maybe this isn't. I mean, it is kind of a dungeon crawler. We are kind of crawling through a dungeon. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes, I see. Going up, and then. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. This is making me nervous, and I love it. Oh, there's a trap. Left click to disarm the trap. Disarm a trap, you must first detect it. You try to open it, blah, 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 blah. Try to disarm a trap, must bring a left click. These tools will help next. The traps are only designed by triggering them. Okay. Oh, yay. Holy crap, that was barely. Where is there a trap? I can't see. Oh. This is so cool. I love this so much. Damn! Rogues, man. They just... They're nuts. Mm. Ah, yes. I'll take some gold. Liam's heirloom. Cool, cool. So. Escape from the fort. Um, is there another way out of this room? Is what I want to know. Oh, right. Damn it. I don't believe that there is. Oh no! There you are, you filthy crook! You? What? You're drunk. Get out of here before I kill you. Think you scare me? Not anymore. A grave mistake. Critical characters. Sometimes in the course of your adventure, non-player characters become, may become critical. This means if you let them die, the game is over. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> um, if you attack an enemy while undetected, you gain the advantage of surprise, meaning you have advantage on your roll. Um, if you've never played 5th edition, uh, that means you roll two 20-sided dice and accept the higher result. Um, if you're a rogue and you have advantage, you get sneak attack. Okay. So I need to get down there and get behind this guy. Okay. So I guess that that means I need... Wait a second. I cannot reach the target. Hang on. Can I switch to my... Okay, alt. If he's engaged, does that mean that I get to 11 hit points, 15 hit points? Let's just see if I can't. How does that feel? Well, there you go. <laughs> I, I probably didn't even need to jump down. 
Are you four here to see Lord Karen? Karen? Okay, Terry, who's asking? We're not here to get drunk. Maybe we're here looking for a good fight. Let's go. Let's be polite. Be Terry will answer. Depends on who's asking. Well, if you're here for Lord Karen of the Legacy Council, that would be me. Oh, hey, Karen. So you're real then. I love that all the characters... I knew that you could do this. That all the characters could actually talk to the NPCs. And I love that they're all voiced. Honestly, I'm really digging this game. Like, a lot. So you're real then. So you're not a mythical creature after all. Unlike, mm. say, a sober adventurer? Can mm. you tell us more about the job? Well, I suppose it's better if you know what you're doing. What do you want to know? Let's see. Are we going to work for you? Not exactly, no. I'll be your contact with the Legacy Council, which you will serve as deputies. That's why we need to go there and get you sworn in. We hear this is a mission for the Council, but what is it exactly? Dear Moraike, you don't know. I'll try to make it simple, but you know, politics. The Council includes representatives of the most powerful and influential organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms. It was created to lead a joint effort to explore the Badlands. What are the organizations you mentioned? The Council is, uh, how to put it, a non-governmental organization, meaning that state governments are not represented to avoid partisanship. Instead, there are delegates from the Guild of Antiquarians, the Tower of Knowledge, the Arcaneum, and the Circle of Denantar. And the Church of Einar guarantees fairness. Einar, it's not Einar. Marshal Beric Sunblaze and Oathkeeper Lyra Keen. Okay, I think that's good. I think we know enough now. Thank you. I never ask all the questions um, in one playthrough just because A, I don't feel it's necessary to know all that stuff. I'm not going to remember it all, honestly. And I could always read about it later if I want to. Also, it doesn't make for a really super fun and exciting YouTube video. So um, we're good. Thank you. We should go, don't you think? Very well. Come, gather your things. You're late for your swearing in. Oh, I've sworn Hurry enough. Wait, the story of my life. Yeah, I love this. I love this a lot. Um, I love this loading screen. Oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. Rolling attack ability check with advantage. Yeah, two d20s are rolled. The better result is used. When rolling at disadvantage, the worst result is kept. Um, so yeah, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like there are a few things that are modified because it's a video game, but um, yeah, I don't know. This is really cool. I'm enjoying this. Okay, understood. Oh, I'm in a city. I'm in a city. A shitty city. Very cool. And we're still all first level. So let's look at, let's go, I want to see where's, ah, yeah, I see we're almost level two. So I wonder, um, where am I supposed to go? Lord Karen finally arrives. You finally arrived, but our records don't say from where. A little Morrowind reference for you. Just a little rock, paper, scissors joke for you. Um, quest log. Aaron at the council. Head north, take the stairs to the Sunblaze Court, and then the stairs west to the embassies. All right. I already forgot. Do we have a map? Do we have a map? Where's the map? Where's the map? Where's the map? The flippin' map. I'm really trying not to swear, even though I have said shit twice now. Three times. Okay. All right, I gotta look at my <laughs> journal again. Uh, oh, no, it's... I don't remember where everything is. I'll get better. Take the stairs west to the embassies and go straight to reach the council. Uh, stairs west. So I am facing... Where am I? 
So, oh, I, oh, I see. Ah, cool. It's pointing me this way. Ah, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, why? Why did only... This is weird. Ah, these must be the stairs they were talking about. Badoop. Straight to reach the council. Oh, here we go. Terry Sunblaze Court. Circle of Danatar. It is magnificent. I agree, Dirk. I believe this is who we talked to. I'm busy. Come back later. Ah, I was wrong. Who are we supposed to talk to? Quest log. Is located near the palace. Embassies head north. Take the stairs to the Sunblaze Court. Then take the stairs west to the embassies. NBCs. Oh, I'm going this way. Right? Ah, yes. Here we go. They're very steep stairs. Holy, holy poops. Okay. Hang on. I'm trying to figure this camera out, folks. Sorry about that. There we go. Nice gardens. What an awesome playthrough. We just walked through this city and kept forgetting to mess with his camera, move his camera around. There he is. Come on, Karen. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, okay. We're right inside. Look at the size of this council hall. So it's this is what they spend the our taxes on. Look. Is that the Oh taxes. Oh taxes. I have a... Is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? Elaine, we're too low for her. The maid who empties a chamber pot. Elaine, it's not her role. Ooh, I like that. There's an oath keeper for that, I think. You thought it would be the princess? Doesn't she lead the council? No. In this chamber, she's just another delegate. Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen, oath keeper of the council. Shush. Quiet, everyone. And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, They're not raising the solemnly right hands. swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I, I swear. swear. Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait. That's it? What were you expecting? A parade? No, I don't know. It just feels a bit... anticlimactic. Sorry to disappoint. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't oh. heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. I don't think we need any more information than that. I don't know. I'm eager to get going. Right. I guess that's that. It's on to KLM. Faction relations five. Council factions represented Care Care Kiflin. Kiflin? I know. They sell you equipment, yada yada yada. They keep an eye on the faction. Okay, cool. Location map. When a waypoint has been found, you can use it to fast travel to another place. Oh nice. 
Awesome. Hey, we leveled up. Okay, cool. Take a long rest. Oh, you have to rest. Oh, interesting. Can we long rest right here? No. Let's go back. Can we go back to the inn? Excuse me. I just silently burped and then said, excuse me. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, is there... Okay, Seaflin? Kiflin? Journal. Um, close. Hang on a sec. Hmm. Here we go. We'll talk to you later. I want to get back and level them up before we... And can I go all the way over this way? There we go. Seek to Carol, the owner. He will tell you how to get a room. Yada, yada, yada. And then hopefully the tutorial will be all done. Here we go. Oh, yes. Like any good RPG. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Okay. We need a room. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this, this is, is the, the capital, capital city. city. Okay. Oh, looks like we automatically went up. Ah, uh, yes. Now we will level up. You are now a level two paladin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay. I gain Divine Smite. Um, a fighting style. And can cast paladin spells. So, uh, understood. Um, dueling. Definitely want you to be a striker. A bit of a striker. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, I, have to, I can prepare spells with her too now. Um, oh, she's got Bless, Cure Wounds, Heroism, and Shield of Faith already prespelled. Okay, validate. Cool. Um, nice. Level 2 Cleric. Um, Channel Divinity, Turn Undead, Preserve Life. Okay, finish. Um, I don't... Oh, wait. I can prepare a new spell maybe, I think. Or does it automatically... So it should be... Six spells, right? One. That's five spells. That's six spells, Zachary. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. Okay, so. Let's finish. I really had nothing else to do with her. Um, and then we'll level up, but I get to choose her subclass, I believe. An additional first level slot, and arcane recovery. And I get to... understood. I'm not really worried about it. Green mage. Lore master. Arcane warfare. Casting war, so the war list. Count as being cast as one slot level higher than you actually use. Lore master. Yeah, let's be a shock arcanist. Sounds good. Oh, and I can learn two more spells. Yay! Um, so. I already have those. So I can uh, see Burning Hands, Charm Person. This is a, a war spell, right? Featherfall seems like it'd be a good one, and False Life is a good one as well. Okay. Prepare spells. Um, Alright, I think that... Select six spells to prepare. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. That's all I have to do. Validate. I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, I think that's going to end this episode. Um, 
yeah, that was really fun. It's quite long, but you know, getting the tutorial out of the way was real fun. So, um, if you like my video, um, drop a like, a comment, and if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Um, but thank you for watching. And if no one's told you today that they love you, I love you. See you later.